drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair I am so ill today, just with a cold. I'm not gonna show my face because I am looking like death, but I did wanna show you exactly what I'm eating today because I was so fancying some kind of like noodle soup thing. And I put this together, well, I wanted to order something from Deliveroo and instead I put this together from things that we had in the cupboard and just tried the soup and it's absolutely delicious. So, We've got some tofu that I fried in oyster sauce and soy sauce, some kimchi, spring onions, sweet corn, a homemade broth, some noodles, and a load of chili oil. Like this with the crunchy bits is literally the best thing ever. But yeah, I'm hoping that I can eat this curled up on the sofa and it will make me feel a little bit better than I feel. Good morning, guys. <laughs> We're in the gym car park, about to go to the gym. Elliot's yes. with me for the first time in a long time. Yes, yeah, my first time venturing out to the uh, to the gym in a little while, isn't it? No, I haven't been exercising, just at home. Yeah, he's been in like a lot of running and home workouts. Mm. And using the pull-up bar, which is quite good. The one that I had to sacrifice the side of our I've house for. I've actually already got it. I've got my money's worth already. Yeah, you have, to be fair. It has been really good. Um, but going to go and get in a pull session this morning. I didn't film anything over the weekend. As you can maybe still tell a little bit, I have basically just been ill for the last few days. But I have, I did film actually a few little clips of some of the DIY bits that... I got up to mirror. and you got up to as well oh don't i've got a story to tell you guys later um but yeah i didn't film any like talking things so i'm gonna catch up with you a little bit later on after i've got my workout in got your pump on got my pump on <laughs> right gym session is done such a good session both ellie and i had a really good session actually i did a pull workout which is like mainly back and biceps from the strong program on my app. I'm actually on week four of it, which is the last week of that program, but I'm already planning strong part two. Basically I've chosen to do a four month program because I feel like four months is a really good, like allotted period of time to like stick to a program for. I feel like after that, it kind of, I don't know. I just feel like I struggle to stick to a program for longer than that. So it's nice to have that feel like you've accomplished it and like move on to the next thing. But yes, yeah, such a good program and did a bit of the cross trainer or elliptical. I've always thought the word, do you call it elliptical? Cross trainer. Mm. Maybe it's like an American thing. But yeah, I was a bit worried about not having loads of energy for my workout because like I said, I haven't been particularly well over the last few days. Weirdly, I had like one day in the middle of having a cold where I felt way better and then it got worse again, which is a bit strange. I actually had loads of energy today and the only thing I'm feeling is just a bit like bunged up still. So got that done. I need to go and put a hair mask in. I wanted to give you an update on the hair mask I used the other day, the Shea Moisture one. And it was great. Like my hair felt so nice afterwards. Obviously, I'm going to use it for a while, like every other wash or something before I give you a proper update on it. But I'm gonna do my Olaplex, which I'm praying I've still got some of because I actually haven't used it for ages. And I'm gonna alternate between the two of those, basically with every wash for a while. So I wanna see my hair's in like dire condition. But yeah, gonna go and put that in, shower, and get ready for a productive day. Good afternoon, guys. Such a the next day. I just got carried away with things yesterday and forgot to pick up the camera. I just went to get my nails done and this is what I went for. A quite, I would say like autumnal brown French tip thing. Um, I basically saw it on Pinterest. I always just go on Pinterest and type clear background nails. But the lady that does my nails, Abby, she has got this like more of like a creamy um, bottom coat rather than the pinky one that I usually get, which I really like. Yeah, I think this is actually the first time that I've ever had a French manicure on my nails. I obviously had one for on my toenails for being a bridesmaid for Megan in the summer, but I love it. I'm really loving it. And I feel like we're getting very into the kind of autumn spirit. I actually got a package through this morning, which I thought weren't coming because I ordered them such a long time ago. 
but for these little pumpkins. So I know that I said that I wasn't going to order any more Halloween decorations, but because we didn't go to Portugal in the end, I feel like we've got a bit more of October here because we would be in Portugal at the moment. And I'd ordered these ages ago. They actually did take a while to come. They were just from Amazon. I saw them in someone else's YouTube video and I thought they looked really, really cute. And they are basically a set of white pumpkins with this very sort of um, rustic farmhouse looking stalk. And there are quite a few in the set. There are maybe six of them, all different sizes. I will link them for you in the description box. Although by the time you order them, it potentially might be Halloween already. All these little medium ones as well. Yeah, I think they are very, very sweet. They look a lot more expensive than they, well, even than they feel. I have no idea what these are made from. They kind of feel like paper mache, but like a bit smoother, but they are gonna be great. I think they were honestly, the whole bag of them was like 14 pounds or something. I was thinking of doing like a little arrangement on the chest that we've got near our door. I know it's probably gonna be so dark and grainy, but I really wanna, position my pumpkins. I'm so desperate to get trick-or-treaters this year. <laughs> I don't know if that's really, really sad, but I think Halloween is on a Monday, is that right? But I'm really hoping that we will get children coming to our house because I really want to buy sweets and be able to like, I don't know, scare them or something. I was thinking a little display on here, but I also don't want this to look too cluttered really. Okay, so just dot these mini ones about to be honest that's probably about as much as I can do with it also I can't remember if I said that I had picked up this pumpkin candle from home sense not that we're shocked and it just smells so gorgeous and really spiced the only thing I would say is I don't feel like it gives off as much scent as the other two pumpkin ones I've had this year but we've burnt through literally like half of this already so I think we need to kind of go a bit slower on it because I want this to last because I think it's just so beautiful I actually have got candle making things I've got like soy wax palettes and a few fragrant scent things so I feel like I could actually refill this and I think what I'll probably do because I love the little pumpkin container for this is even when we burn this out this year, I will put it in a storage box in bubble wrap and then get it out next year and pour a candle myself. So I feel like it'd just be such a shame for this gorgeous little glass pumpkin to go to waste. Yeah, basically every single evening we have had a candle going on here and I temporarily moved the pumpkin candles. I'm just gonna move the camera somewhere where I can sit down and chat to you. But yeah, basically every single evening we have had a candle going on there or we've had the fire on. We actually need to go and get some more kindling and just logs in general for the fire, but it has been an absolute godsend, especially because we actually had a bag of logs already that were left by the previous owners of this house so we've really been trying not to have the heating on because obviously energy bills are so expensive at the moment and we had the fire going and it actually gives out so much heat and it's just oh such a luxury it's one of those things that i have actually had fires in some houses when i was growing up i don't feel like i really appreciated like just how cozy and lovely they make a room and when we moved into this house both of our parents commented on the fact we've got this log burner and we're like it's so amazing you've got a log burner and i was kind of like oh yeah yeah no like yeah it's really cool and now we've been having it on i'm like wow i'm so so happy we've got one but yeah we do need to go and stock up on logs and things i actually did something so silly the other day i left my wax melts you know i got sent those lovely wax melts I left them on the fire when I put the fire on in the plastic and they literally melted all down the back, which is such a shame. But I have got through, I probably had got through like half the pack, but I really want to get some wax melts that have got some kind of like spiced autumnal scents to them. I feel like all the cozy spiced scents are just so appealing to me at the moment yesterday as well yesterday afternoon i went around and photographed loads of different little bits of our house for our house instagram page we set up an instagram account when we moved into our house and i'd intended to post on it loads but we then had a big break from house things i just couldn't keep up with it but it's something that i really want to get back into because i love being able to look back on even the pictures from the start of that account and see how much the house has changed 
since we initially bought it. So like I said, I went around and photographed it and I'm gonna start posting on there again. So if you do wanna go and follow it, it's Annie Elliott Home. And I'm hoping there are gonna be lots of reels and photos and things on there. I went and styled the little inbuilt shelf thing we've got, I'll show you. So put the two little pumpkin candles we've got on there and I think they look so sweet. But obviously I can't light candles in this small space. So I feel like I need some that I'm not bothered about lighting just to kind of sit there. But yeah, let me know what you think. Cause I like the idea of this being like a little, you know, autumnal decor section, but yeah, just need something to go in the middle because I actually really like burning these ones at night time. So I know I said that I would go through a couple of the like DIY things that we did at the weekend. We honestly, by the way, had the most chilled weekend ever. Like I said, we were meant to be away and because the trains were a bit of a nightmare getting into London, we really wanted to go and watch those of our friends were doing the marathon. We wanted to go and watch that. But the trains were such a disaster that we just decided it wasn't worth it. It was going to take us like two hours by the time we'd got to where we wanted to go to. So we had to go via all sorts of stations. So we stayed in the whole weekend. And when I say I don't think we've had a single weekend like this since we moved into this house, I, I really think that's the honest truth. And it was just so lovely and relaxing. We did lots of eating cookies and nice food and also DIY bits that we've been meaning to do for ages. And it's just so difficult to find time to do them during the week. So we both work obviously full time during the day. And then when it gets to the evening, the last thing you really wanna be doing is like hanging pictures up and things like that. But on that note of hanging pictures up, I created a very cute little two picture situation in our kind of bar area under the stairs i will insert some footage of me putting it up here but basically i had seen similar arrangements on pinterest and other like house accounts that i follow and for the prints that i put inside them i literally got them from etsy i will link the prints that i printed off but they were from this company i can't actually remember what it's called that basically just sell lovely kind of vintage or like sketched or landscape pieces that you print off yourself. I really thought that I was gonna go to like a printing shop to have them printed on really nice paper, but I was feeling a bit impatient on Sunday and I decided to just see whether I could just print them on normal paper and how they'd look. They were literally printed on just normal A4 paper and they look so expensive in my opinion. And the frames you will have remembered from a couple of videos ago, I managed to get those at a charity shop and I think both of them together cost me five pounds. So basically those two pieces of artwork cost me like, I think each print was about three pounds 50 each. They basically cost me like 12 pounds in total, which is so good. And I think they just add such a lovely homely look to the area. So yeah, this is the corner that I have, well, kind of finalized, I guess. So in the gold one, I went for a sketch and this is the one that literally just looks so real. It's actually kind of crazy. I think because the prints, you kind of print it off and the background is like textured already, if that makes sense. As in like the actual image is like a textured looking image. So that prints onto paper. So it kind of doesn't matter what paper you use. So yeah, I literally worked that in the frame. I kept the border that came with that picture because that one came with this nice like double border thing. And I just think it works so well. And then for this one, I didn't really know what to go for because I wanted to have one that had some like more earthy colors in rather than another sketch or black and white thing. And I didn't necessarily want like a landscape picture because if you remember the Dunelm one that we bought that is just over there, I'll show you in a second, is a landscape one. So I went for this one, which is almost like a tapestry sort of thing and then i use that black and gold frame which is again a charity shop purchase but yeah i just think it has really really completed it i just think there's something about pictures on a wall that make everything just so much more homely and i think the gold brings out the sort of like brassy uh, bucket thing that we've got and cups at the top and cocktail maker so the garage is a an area that i feel like i really never show because it's <laughs> very cluttered in here well in fact it's not very cluttered it's just very disorganized there is actually quite a lot of floor space in here but i put up this shelf which i was very proud of because i feel like drilling things into the wall is still something i get quite nervous about but yeah found these shelf brackets which are actually the same shelf brackets that we have for the shelves in the lounge area 
and just these really, really cheap shells, which I think were five pounds. Picked those up from B&Q and I just needed a place where I could put all my flower vases and little pots that we don't use all the time. So it's just great to get them off the ground. I don't know if I've showed you this before, but we've actually got this very practical sink in our garage area, which I love the idea of when we moved into this house. Obviously at the moment it's covered in cleaning supplies, but when we eventually get a dog, <laughs> this sink will be so, so helpful. So we can wash our future dog after its walks. We actually also bought two more shelves to put up on that wall to put shoes on because we've got so many pairs of shoes just kind of on the ground at the moment. And then in our spare room, which Elliot uses as a study as well, he finally got round to painting the desk in the same colour as the walls because that's how it was always intended to be but we just never got round to it and um, it was it's basically just a piece of MDF and it just looks so much better in that colour we just are waiting for a top coat to arrive so it's a little more durable and able to be used and so that the paint won't chip really easily that colour is fire on ball skimming stone i can't believe how different it looks on these two walls by the way it's a really gloomy day today like very very gray outside so hence why this footage is probably really grainy yeah this is coming along nicely and it's going to make such a difference to this room one of my other weekend projects, as you will have seen, was painting these cupboard doors. <laughs> so I have used the Fire and Ball paint Skylight to repaint these because they were pale blue colour and we're going back a few months now. And you might remember me saying that they just looked very like baby, baby's room blue. I don't know how to explain it. Like very much more like sky blue. By the way, you'll realize one door is missing and it's here. This door came off a little while ago and the guys who fitted our wardrobes need to come back to fix it because obviously it shouldn't have come off. But yeah, I went with the color Fire and Ball Skylight and I, overall, I really like it. Like it's a huge improvement, but now I've done it, I'm thinking, I don't know whether I wish I'd gone for a more subtle blue. <laughs> that's a little bit more grey even but I do really like it how it is and to be honest I'm not going to be repainting them for quite a while if I do or not until we've got this wallpaper ordered yeah that's a better idea of how this wallpaper which is the Morris & Co poppy one will look if the wardrobes are that colour and I'm just I don't mind it I'm just <laughs> just not absolutely convinced like I think I wish this was even more of a subtle blue colour but yeah, let me know your thoughts because I do like that it's, you know, a bit of colour, but I'm just not too sure. Like it is still quite blue, as you can see. Right, guys. So I ordered some pumpkin puree in like tin pumpkin puree, which I know is huge in America. But let me tell you, pumpkin is just not half as big as like a thing um, in the UK. And I think all of our pumpkin puree is like imported as well. So bought four of these from Amazon because I really wanted to make some pumpkin recipes. Back in the day, I actually used to make pumpkin pancakes and waffles. And today I thought I'd make a pumpkin loaf, like a pumpkin bread kind of thing. I actually wanted to do, my initial idea was to do a banana and pumpkin bread. But I don't have any bananas. So I'm going to go for a pumpkin bread cake kind of thing. Basically like a pumpkin loaf cake I guess. I'll put the recipe that I'm using if it's any good in the description box so don't worry about following along with me. But it's pretty much a pretty classic cake recipe. The only thing a bit different about it is is that there's no butter in here so actually if you are dairy free it would be a good recipe for you and it's sunflower oil instead which I actually have for once. So yeah I'm gonna put you on a time lapse and let's get baking.
steamed a little reusable loaf light now. How good is that? So that is ready to go. I don't want to tip it too much, but it's got a gorgeous orange color. And that's going to go in the oven for, I think it's 55 minutes, but just on 170 degrees. So I've just taken it out of the oven and it's looking amazing. The only thing I'm worried about is I just think it potentially looks a little overcooked, but I did follow all the instructions really carefully. And I've actually taken it out like 10 minutes before it said on the instructions, but I have just tested it with a skewer and I mean, it's definitely cooked, but I feel like usually with like banana bread kind of things, I would test it with a skewer and then have to put it back in for about five minutes. So I'm just a little bit worried that it might be overcooked, but I'll leave it to cool and then we can see. <laughs> Right, we're gonna try the cake. I'm you're, not feeling- You're gonna try it first. Yeah, I'm not feeling, oh, I'm honestly not feeling very hopeful. I think I just literally put a cat hair in here. You know, we obviously don't have a cat, but because we both have cats at our family home, I feel like cat hairs just make their way into things. Oh, no, it looks good. That does look good. Whoa! I thought that was gonna be like... It's got a nice crust to it. God, <laughs> thank you so much. I thought that was gonna be really, really dry because it looked like I'd overdone it. You doubted yourself, but you, you smashed it. Oh, good. It's really good, John, right? Yeah, go on then. Mmm, delicious. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. 